All right, you little sons of bitches. I'm going to dry hop you, and then I'm going to sanitize you. Draw! Hey guys, welcome to another video. Have you ever opened up a can or been poured one fresh and it's got this sort of musty, earthy, weedy, skunky... Oh, but more the dank, the dank! Anyway, for me, it's, it's sort of damp, celery, mustiness. Mm. It's very trendy now with beers that are coming out with names like Dr. Dank and Ridanculous. Mm. Uh, what else? Oh, I saw one called Cheese earlier as well. Yeah, Cheese by Pressure Drop. Want to, uh, want to try that one out? Mm. So what we have here is we have six batches, six five-litre batches in mini kegs of beers where it's exactly the same base beer, and I'll run through the specifics of the brew in a sec. And each one has been double dry hopped with a different dank hop. Now we've got Summit, Mosaic, Idaho 7, Strata, Galaxy, and Columbus, which I think is a very good starting point for, for dank yeah. hops. Did a considerable amount of research in the lab, and uh, that's what my boys cooked up. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're, we're doing a blind taste test. Uh, we don't know what they are. They're all exactly the same temperature. The, the, the brew is exactly identical. It's just the fact that the double dry hops have been different. That's, that's, that's all it is. Mm. <laughs> hops, what's the Latin name for hops? She. Oh, I don't know. You did Latin. You went to proper school. Wow. Populus. Multimus? Lupulus, isn't it? Isn't it lup <laughs> lupulus? <laughs> isn't it lupulus something, it? something or other? Lupulus something or other, isn't it? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Wow. Anyway. No idea. Anyway, but the hops. <laughs> Hops are part of the same family as cannabis. Their um, <clears throat> cannabis is the cousin of the hop. Part of the same family, the cannabinaceae, or the hemp family, if you will. Hence, why some people think dank is like cannabis. So anyway, let's crack on. Let's just take you through the uh, brew day and the dry hopping process, so you can take that in, and then we'll be back with the tasting action shortly. Cleveland, close the window. You're letting the stank out. We brewed up 30 litres in total. The grain bill was a straightforward 90% pale, 5% wheat and 5% oats, clocking in at 5.5%. Hops added to the kettle were just 14 grams of Magnum to get to 10 IBU. Magnum was chosen for its clean bittering quality as this experiment is all about the double dry hop. Lalamond Verdon IPA yeast was used. As a footnote, the verdant yeast shot off like a rocket and blew the sanitizer out of three of the six airlocks. So look out for this one, she bites. Here I'm splitting the batch into six five litre buckets and pitching the yeast. More moments later. Got ourselves a lot of fermentation, baby. What we're going to do is work our way through, taking some, say, some <laughs> taking some nice notes, and at the end we're going to come together in a glorious unison and go through each one and then do the big reveal and find out which gets the uh, thumbs up on our dangometer. Yeah. Anything cool. like that, the dangometer. Yeah, I love it. Anything like that. Okay, let's talk about number one. So number one, I didn't find very dank at all. In fact, I've given it a one out of five dankness. 
Um, I found it quite floral, not unpleasant, quite orangey, uh, but, but very, very harsh, very bitter. And about you guys? Yeah, I think that was my lowest. My lowest score I gave it. On the like Dank Homerton? One and a half on the okay. Dank What did you give on the Dank Homerton? I gave it two. Gave it two, yeah. Okay. So we're all very low. I, I also have floral. Yeah. Um, a note. I thought it was, uh, yeah, slightly apricotty as well. Okay, didn't get that. No. No, I didn't get the, the, the sort of fruitiness. I got the floralness. Oh, okay. Um, sort of came through. Florality. Florality. <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> <Good to give. laughs> I have had a go at getting the hop, and I've guessed Galaxy or Columbus. Mm. Uh, see, I, have I reckon it's there. Galaxy. Should we have a look? Yeah. yeah go on, it's Galaxy! Oh, yes! <laughs> right, How would you like that? Wow. There, there's only one thing. here I know what it is, but it's got a different keg, and that's number two, right. but that's genuinely... You like that? Oh, Galaxy. You like that? Yeah. Not sure if I believe yeah, it. And, and the reason is because it's harsh, because I know uh, Galaxy is a, is a very high uh, alpha acid hop. Yeah. Oh. And I just picked up that harshness. Cool. And, as you will do in a five litre batch with 20 gram dry hop. You know, yeah. You're, yeah. you're going to pick it up, aren't you? Anyway, I'm happy with that. Anyway, number two. Ed, take us through number two. Number two. Um, do you mind me saying this was a difficult one? Because I wasn't a great beer, this one. And I really struggled to... No, 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 that's no criticism of you. Is it? Um, <laughs> but it had a very overwhelmingly medicinal kind of taste, and I suspected, like, fusel alcohols uh, were at play. If I, if I tried to so back to the dankness? Yeah. So, well, I'll come to the dankness in a minute. I got a little bit of marmalade, maybe a little bit of apricot in this one. Um, the essence of bilge. It was extremely difficult to get anything from it because of the flaws in the beer, I'm afraid. Yeah. Right. Um, but for, for dankness, I did give it 2.5. Really? Just 2.5? Yeah. I gave it 4 out of 5. Okay, wow. Yeah. I thought it was one of my dankest. Okay. So. I thought it was definite dank on the nose, peppery. Uh, I got a slight Edam cheese vibe. Really? I got yeah. a medicinally kind of, not, not quite TCP, but that kind of, that medi herbally medicinal kind so of feel. Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> absolutely did as well, and that's why it was so difficult to sort of, it was really hard to see past that. And okay. also, you maybe made it over here in my voice, I've got a cold, Fair which enough. doesn't help. Okay, so should we bin him out of the, uh, the scientific, <laughs> the, 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 the other doctors that we've got in the ring? <laughs> Uh, Andrew, what did you score that one out? Uh, I scored that one 4.5. Did you? Yeah. So, so 4, 4.5, and Ed 2.5. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that was... Um... Dankometron screen. Dank. Should we see what it is? Well, I know what this is. This is... I'm fairly sure this is mosaic. Oh. And you gave it a 4 out of 5? It is mosaic. Wow. Up a dankness, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I thought I've... that's well, quite surprising. Really. The, the mm -hmm. absolute dank aroma. Mm. Okay, number three, Andrew. Take us through number three. I got like a cut flower, earthy. Um, I got earthy. To it. Um, I got forest floor. Yeah, yeah, sort of like um, yeah, damp forest floor, that kind of mm. earthy. Like when you walk into a, a florist and you get that cut, cut flower mm -hmm. smell sort of came through. Um, dankness wise, I only gave it a three and a half though. I gave it a three and a half. Bang on three and a half. Oh, well, there you go. Three really? Three and a half? <laughs> yeah. Okay. That. Three and a half all the way through. Yeah, three and a half, yeah. That is a consensus. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to say it. <laughs> it's not an exam. You crossed through that four, though. Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> Ed, do you want to do the honours? Uh, did anybody get what the hop was? Uh, no, again, I didn't I didn't take uh, a guess on the, on the hop. I guessed Summit. So what have we got left? Summit. Are you going to do the reveal? We, we haven't guessed the hops, have we? No. The reveal? Is Columbus. Mm. Oh, okay. That was my second choice. I didn't say it on camera. Mm. Now I wish I had. <laughs> number four. Number four. Yeah. So number four. Uh, this was this is this is by far the best tasting beer for oh. me. Aroma and taste. Uh, I got. It, it wasn't particularly dank. I got a nice tropical fruit vibe. Mm. Passion fruit, apricot, a little bit of rotten fruit. I put down. Ooh, so right. a little bit of dankness. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, by far the, 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 the nicest sort of single hop, double dry hop, I thought, on display amongst the six amigos. Yeah. Uh, and I, I scored it two out of five. Okay. Yeah, I definitely went for the, the, the fruity tropicalness sort of came through on that one. Yeah. Um, quite enjoyable. I think, mean, yeah, again, it was, enjoyable. Just, it was the most enjoyable one. But as we're By far like, the best of these six. Yeah. If you had a, a single hop. Mm. Dank. Yeah. <laughs> I've gone for tropical fruit, apricot, peach. Mm. Stone fruits. So we both had eight sections. Yeah, that's probably and yeah, dankness. I've gone for three, so slightly higher. Three. Than okay. Than dankness, sorry. Uh, one point five. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Really. Um, okay. Particularly. Mm. I mean, coming off the back of 
Yeah, on the Dankometer now. Mm. Uh, so the question is, Ed, can you reveal this one? Let's see what it is. Mm. So I, I've had a stab at Idaho 7. Strasser. Oh, no! Mm -hmm. I like that a little bit, Strasser. <clears throat> I'm annoyed about that. I thought Strasser would be Danker. Mm. I wasn't expecting Strasser to be so tropical. So she's done me in on that one. Thanks a lot, Strasser. <laughs> Uh, number five, so Ed, take us through number five. Mm. Sorry. <clears throat> so number five, I actually thought this was quite piney. Uh, this, for me, was the dankest beer. So, <laughs> what are you laughing about? Me too. Oh, really? Four and a half out of five. Okay, I thought, oh, I was worried you had a really low number there. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> three star, four and a half out of five. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got piney, dank, horse blanket in particular. Yeah. For me. Um, slightly garlicky as well, though. Right. Um, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, I also found it quite bitter though, and I don't know why. It's okay. made it slightly more bitter than the other bits. But, um, which is strange because they're all brewed the exact same way and then we're, we're just varying the dry hop. Anyway, yeah, I've got 4.5 for dankness. Okay. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I got a very musty cellar, damp cellar vibe mm. from, from number five. Uh, I got bad socks, plate, plate of cheese with the rind on, <laughs> I got, which is pretty dank. Yeah, very specific as well. Yeah, I thought so. Mm. Yeah, I kind of got that, that cellar taste. I couldn't, there was, there was something in it I couldn't place. Um, and it might have just been something I've not experienced before, sort of taste-wise. Mm. Um, but I gave it a four. Okay. Yeah, so not, so, not my dankest, but... Yeah, but we're all sort of, sort of up in the, in the same ballpark. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. <clears throat> Uh, let's have a reveal. So I've got, I've got Idaho Seven, Stroke Strata. I'm doing Idaho Seven. It is Idaho. Hey, well done, team. Have you got it written down? No. I don't see it written down. <laughs> can't help with the, <laughs> the previous one with Strata. So <laughs> <laughs> if I'm being honest, you're a clown. Uh, so you're a much learned doctor. A clown who gets results. Wow. Wow. He doesn't play by the rules. <laughs> So number six, Andrew, take us through number six. Um, again, I got quite a, a, a sort of herbally medicinal um, taste of this one. Mm -hmm. um, sort of middling with the dankness compared to the others. Um, I gave it a three and a half. So did I. I gave it a four. I gave it a four. So we would have been pretty, I mean, pretty consistent. Within, within sort of half a point of each other and all. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, <coughs> I didn't dislike it, but it was there was there was something on the nose that was a bit unusual but I couldn't quite place. Mm. Um, mm. Again I think this is my lack of having to taste things and describe them. Mm. Um, the, the, the practice isn't there and I, I'm sure it'll come time but it's um I know it's difficult when you look at us and yeah, you're yeah, also yeah, overwhelmed pros, by it. The pros. Um, Honestly keep your head down. <laughs> Ten years later you could yeah. be sat where we are. You're looking at us and you're looking at a couple of guys that have basically scaled Everest. <laughs> what? We're all equals here bud. Yeah that's it. <laughs> In charge of giving me a tea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. So the I don't have the facilities to be able to see the maths off the top of my head. Uh, however, the Idaho Seven is the clear winner mm. on the Dankometer. Mm. So that's number five. Mm. And number four, the tropical fruit of, of Strata was the better beer, interestingly, of the uh, of the single hop, double dry hop. Mm. So there we go. Up on the screen now, you'll see the results of all six. Hope you found this interesting. It was interesting, wasn't it? Oh, I found it very interesting. Yeah. Just yeah. going oh, Well, that's Summit. That's quite clearly <laughs> yeah. Summit. I reckon that's Summit, that was. Well, you reckon it? Is. I reckon. Yeah, oh, right. Just in case you edit it around. I concur with my learning colleague. <laughs> nice. Summit. Is it Summit by yourself? <laughs> Don't make sure you haven't cocked it up. For, the, for, for that, I, I had um, sort of oniony, savoury, and, and slight spice. Mm -hmm. And not a good spice, more of a sort of a yeah, low, second rate curry house spice. Cheap spice, yeah.